Hey, what's up? This is Václav. This week it's Christmas and look what I've got in my mail. A brand new Home Assistant Sky Connect. Thanks to Nabucasa for sending that to me. It was a nice surprise. Now, what is Sky Connect? Well, Sky Connect is a multi-protocol antenna. It currently supports Zigbee, but in the future update it will support Thread. So that my Home Assistant will support both Zigbee and Matter at the same time. So what I could have done is, I could have plugged into a test box and show you that everything is plug and play and it works. And it will discover all the devices and it's all easy and shiny. But that's not what I'm gonna do, because I don't actually have a test box first, really. And, and the reason is, what I like to do is, I like to do practical videos. I like to show you my real life experience with the home automation. Something I actually use. That means that I will plug that to my home assistant that control my house, to the actual one. And I currently have 32 Zigbee devices with 126 entities. And I use them to control my lights for motion and present sensors to monitor my power consumption and I have two flood sensors that can turn on and off my water. And all of these are used in automations and in configured and power monitoring with the nice Grafana dashboard. So this is what this video is going to be about. I will try to migrate my existing Zigbee network that I actually use to control my house from my left CC2652 controller that had been working for a number of years to SkyConnect. So, what are my expectations? Well, first I hope that it will migrate all my Zigbee network over so that I won't have to rediscover all devices again. I went through that earlier this year when I moved over from Zigbee to MQTT to ZHA and I did that partially to get ready for this change since SkyConnect has Silicon Labs chip that uh, was not supported by Zigbee to MQTT. And I think this has changed since then. I think there's some support now, but I think it's in beta. So uh, I moved to uh, ZHA and I'm happy with that. But I'm afraid I might need to rename all my devices and entities again because they'll be probably discovered as new ones. So I'll have to update and test all my automations, reconfigure power monitoring and all the dashboards. And at the end, if everything works, I should end up with everything working the same way as today. It should be really the same way as today. There's going to be nothing new since I don't have any major devices yet. And I think the support will only come in the future update. I think there's some beta right now I could test, but I don't have any devices. So, but my home assistant will be ready. So we can play with that in the future. So that's the plan for the week between Christmas and New Year. Before I start, I guess it will be a good idea to brief my wife. Good news is the heating is controlled by Z-Wave, not Zigbee, so it won't be cold in here. So we'll be primarily dealing with lights and motion sensors not working for some time. And uh, so I should tell her that I'll be playing with my toy again for a few days. And so she should uh, tolerate that, hopefully. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I'd like to make sure I have a backup of my system before the change. So I'm going to go to System, Backups, and I'm going to create a backup. Then I'd like to also make sure I have a manual backup of my Zigbee network. So I'm going to go to Devices, ZHA, Configure, and I'm going to create a manual backup of my Zigbee network and then load it. Now call me paranoid, but I also like to have a list of all the integration entities in case I need to edit them after the change. So I go to integration, list of all the entities, but unfortunately there is no way uh, to save them in a text file. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to uh, developer tools, template, and I'm going to write this uh, simple template to list of all the entities for the integration ZHA. I'm going to copy them and save them to a text file. Then I can start the migration. I'm going to go to Migrate Radio and Submit. Uh, it's going to ask me whether I want to uh, reconfigure the current one or migrate to a new one. So I'm migrating to a new one. It's, it's asking me to confirm that it's going to reset the old radio. And I will say yes, Submit. And after a while it will tell me to unplug the old radio. 
So uh, this is the time to take the new radio out of the box. And here it is. Uh, this is the SkyConnect radio uh, with a USB cable. So I'm going to unplug the old one and uh, plug the new cable in. With that done, I can head back uh, to my Home Assistant uh, dashboard and hit continue. It's going to ask me to select the new serial port and I can see the SkyConnect is already there. So I can hit submit. Now for the uh, network settings, I'm going to try restoring uh, from an automatic backup. I also have a manual one, but let's try this one first. It actually did backup just before the change, so it found it. So uh, I can hit submit and let's see if it works. Uh, it'll also need to replace uh, the IEEE address uh, for the network to function properly. So I'm going to confirm that and it says success. So I'm going to hit finish and see if that worked. I'm going to go to visualization and it looks like the network is still there. So let's see if that works. Uh, I'm going to go to one of my recent devices. This is the smart plug that controls my coffee machine. So I'm going to go uh, to the kitchen and try to turn it on and it should turn on the switch. I can hear the machine coming up and the power raising, but it didn't work. It flipped the switch back to its default position. So it looks like it doesn't work yet. If I go to energy panel there too, it says there is no data to show. So, so it could be, I might have been over optimistic. Well, let's come back in a few minutes and see if it works. It takes some time for the Zigbee network to discover. So I'm here back after 15, 20 minutes and I'll try again. I'll turn the machine on and it looks like the switch is holding. I could hear the machine and the coffee machine power is raising uh, to one and a half kilowatt. So uh, it's working. If I uh, head back to the energy panel, I could see that all the measurement is working again. And if I go to my power consumption Grafana dashboard, I could see all the devices are reporting uh, their power correctly. So it looks like everything works well. We didn't have to change anything after all. Wow, that was surprisingly painless. I didn't expect that. Now, I guess I should have expected that, but this is how it's supposed to work. But my previous experience with the migration from Zigbee to MQTT to ZHA was very different. I also did the backup of the network, but it only meant that I didn't have to rediscover all the network again, theoretically. But it did create new entities for each device. So I needed to either rename them or revisit all the automations dashboards and reports. And at the end I did both since some of the device automations work differently on both platforms. And I guess it was due to those differences I ended up rediscovering most of the devices anyhow. So that was a day of work, a very boring one. So this was my expectations and I was not looking forward to it. But it was a smooth ride, one click, literally. <laughs> It's done now. It really took me a minute. So now I'm ready for the matter adventure. So see you in the next one. Bye.